What's up everyone, welcome to your 19th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a mask using the pen tool. Now the advantages of the pen tool is unlike the other masking shapes, this allows you to create a customizable shape. And probably you're going to be using this more than any other masking tool. So let's get right down to it. To select the pen tool, you need to go up to the top of your screen on your tools panel and go ahead and click this thing called ironically the pen tool or if you're too lazy to go all the way up to your screen with your mouse you can just press G and it'll select it for you now once you do this you are able to draw with the pen tool but before you start drawing I need you to go over to this thing called roto bezier and make sure that this checkbox is off make sure that there is no checkbox in your screen and I'll show you what this does later but for right now just make sure it's off now if you never used the pen tool before in any Adobe applications, it's uh, pretty simple. The, you just pretty much just need to start clicking around and uh, your clicks count as frames or points where you can edit. So again, to start out, just make your very first click on the screen. Now anytime you want to make a straight line with the pen tool, go ahead and just click another point on the, sh on the screen and that's how you make a straight line with a pen tool but anytime you have an object where you want to make curves around here's what you need to do you need to click on the screen and you need to drag your mouse until it creates a curved shape so again a click and a drag creates a curved shape but a just plain click without dragging creates a straight line so that's how you make straight lines and curved shapes and this is a awesome feature with the pen tool so anytime you're done making the path you want and you want to finish your shape you need to go to your very first frame that you made or a uh, point whatever you want to call it and as you can see my pen tool turns from a pen tool that looks like the head of a pen to the very same thing but now it has a little circle around it whenever it has a circle around it this means alright we want to close your path and finish making your mask. So as you can see when I click this, I now have a completed mask. Now a lot of the times when you make a mask, it's not going to be perfect. So I'm going to show you guys a bunch of simple things, how to edit your mask, and a couple shortcuts as well. To edit your mask, you are most likely want to go up here to the selection tool, or you can just go ahead and press V. Now, as you can see, I told you guys how to make straight lines and uh, points with curves. Anytime you want to convert a curved point to a straight point or a straight point to a curved point, uh, take a look at my cursor. As I hold down Control and Alt on my keyboard, my cursor moves from like a filled in uh, V to a flying V. And this is only when I'm hovering over points. When I click that flying V, as you can see it's going to convert any curved points to a rounded point and likewise if I go to a straight point it's gonna oh, I think I said curved and rounded last time what I meant was straight and curved as you can see now we have two straight points if I hold down control and alt on my keyboard it'll convert those straightened points to a rounded point so that is how you create uh, straight points to rounded points and that's a little shortcut again that's control and alt on your keyboard another thing that you can do is uh, add and take away these little points that you can edit with now the easiest way to do this is hold down G on your keyboard and as you can see my cursor now moves from a little arrow to a little pen with a plus on it anytime you're hovering over your path that doesn't have a keyframe on it your pen's going to have a pen with a plus sign on it. This means add a point to your path. Now if we click, you're going to be able to add a point that you can drag, edit with, and anything like that. But what if you already have a point and you want to get rid of it? When you click G, as when uh, you hovered over your path that didn't have a point, it'll add. When you hover over a uh, part of your mask that already has a point on it, it's going to have a little... Um, your pen's going to have a little minus sign next to it. 
and this means take away that point we don't want it anymore so let's take away this one just by clicking on it and as you can see we don't have that point in our mask anymore so again when you're holding down G when you hover over your mask that doesn't have a point you can add it by clicking it and when you hover over your mask that uh, has a point already you can get rid of it by uh, hovering over it and deleting it you can also go up here to your pen tool and add vertex and delete vertex and convert vertex these are the three other things that I talked about uh, this is just how to do it without the shortcut but I suggest that uh, you don't do this and you actually learn the shortcuts because it will be a lot faster so those are the basics to editing with a pen tool and making custom masks so again get familiar with that and then the next tutorial as promised I'm gonna be showing you guys what this little thing does the Rota Bazir or however you say it and we will also be probably animating our custom mask so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time make sure to subscribe to my channel